Hello everyone, my name is Abby Bliss White and welcome to my channel. Today we are gonna do July favorites and I have to give you a heads up that July was a huge month. Um, it was my birthday, it was the Nordstrom anniversary sale, it was Shanta Kai's Sylvie's birthday sale, Barbie, the movie launch. I have gone all in. As many of you know, pink is my favorite color. I spent many creative hours playing with Barbies and have so many fond memories. So had to dive in on that action. And I have just a bunch of really fun goodies to share with you. So this video might be a teeny bit longer because I have so many fun goodies to share with you. So if you're interested in seeing my July favorites, I'm going to try to be as efficient as possible today. Then let's go ahead and dive in. Oh my goodness, I have so many fun things to share with you. I don't even know where to start, but I think we will start with some makeup products because that's what you're probably here for. I do have some fragrance. I've got a lot of fashion this month because I shopped at the anniversary sale as well as received some gift cards for my birthday. I've got some fashion items that I can't wait to share with you. Totally my favorite, but let's go ahead and start with makeup. Okay, I'm already having a senior moment this morning. One of my first favorites is the RMS Beauty Supernatural Radiance Serum. This is an SPF 30 sunscreen, and I literally just used this getting ready, and I have somehow hid this product from me. I can't seem to find it to show you, but it is literally one of my favorite new products. I got it in the shade Light Aura. You have seen me use this on camera already, but I have fallen in love with that product. It has been my go-to sunscreen. It gives you a nice, beautiful, glowy base, but it is not overly glowy. I just feel like it hydrates my skin, it protects my skin, and I have literally fallen in love with that SPF. So I wanted to kick off this video with that. Sorry I can't show you it in action. I do not know where I hid it from, but I definitely wanted to give a shout out because I have been using that daily since I picked it up. Now speaking of glowy bases, I did pick up the new Chanel number no. one, the Skin Enhancer in Soft Pink. And I really do love this product. So I have been using the RMS Beauty and have not necessarily felt the need to add on like a the Skin Enhancer. Let me give you a little swatch here. But I do really like this product. So for those of you that already have your favorite sunscreen that you're using, and you are looking for a beautiful, soft, hydrating, glowy base, I think you might really like this number one the Chanel Skin Enhancer. It is truly so pretty. And of course, I like to mix it in with my number one the Chanel foundation. So, so this does include the Camellia Red Oil in the ingredient deck. It is very hydrating. It is truly beautiful. And you could also just use this as a highlighter sort of on the high points of your cheek as well. But I have been sort of mixing a little bit of that into my foundation and I find it to be a beautiful product. Now this must have been the month of launching all these beautiful glowy highlighting bases and highlighters because Westman Atelier also launched their Liquid Super Loaded and I ended up picking up all three shades and I have absolutely no regrets over these. And I have been wearing all three of these. So 
This is the Peau de Soleil, and I love this for a very natural bronze on my skin. Then we've got the Peau de Peche, which is like my go-to highlighter, and then the Peau de Rose. And I literally have been using all three of these colors on my face, and I'm using these as more of a traditional highlighter versus the other two that I were talking about. Those I've been sort of mixing in to my foundations or wearing it as a base like the sunscreen. And so these I just have been loving because I will tap them on to the skin and I'll go ahead and put a little bit on here. I love the Soleil for a nice little healthy fake bronze. The Peau de Peche was always just sort of my go-to highlighter color. And then the Peau de Rose is awesome because you can literally kind of put it underneath your eyes to brighten it and it's just not too like disco ball or anything like that. So. These have been a complete winner for me. And if you were going to ask me, like if you could only buy one of these three different products, the RMS Beauty SPF, the Chanel Skin Enhancer, and the Liquid Super Loaded, I would say if you are somebody who wants to have an SPF, I would go with the RMS Beauty. That one is just gorgeous on its own, but you know, that's going to be the one that's going to protect your skin the most. Then I would probably tell you to pick up one of the Westman Atelier. These to me, you can mix into your foundation. You can use them as traditional highlight. They're just beautiful and there's three different shades to pick from. There's also three different shades to pick from in the Skin Enhancer. And again, I really do like this one, but I understand that you do not need all three of them. I'm YouTuber, so yes, I'm going to give it a try. I'm enjoying all of these products, but I would say the two that I wear the most is the RMS Beauty SPF and the Westman Atelier. You can't go wrong with any of the shades. I would just go for the one that you're most attracted to. I just love them. Okay, in the past month, I have fallen in love with two foundations. These are not necessarily new launches. They are just me being a late bloomer. The first one is the Forever Natural Nude Foundation. This is really an outstanding foundation. This foundation leaves such a beautiful finish on the skin. I did get matched in shade 3CR, so if you are my skin twin, that is the one I would recommend. It is just a perfect match. And what I love about this foundation, this is 3CR, is that it gives your skin a no makeup makeup look. Like you're not going to be able to detect that you have makeup on, but it is going to definitely blur any imperfections. I feel like my skin looks better at the end of the day when I'm wearing this one um, than when I first put it on. It's one of those that sort of meshes into the skin. It just looks so beautiful. And the glow that it gives is going to be more of a natural glow, not overly dewy, um, just this kind of really kind of lit from within. So there are certain foundations that can go just a little bit too glowy or you're going to look a little bit greasy, but that is not the case with this Forever Natural Nude from Dior. I've just been thrilled with this one and I have been reaching for this one so much this past month and beyond. Okay, the next foundation was a surprise hit. This again needs a little shout out from my friend Stephanie who told me that I had to pick this up. This is the YSL All Hours. This is the Luminous Matte Foundation. And I knew that this was a super popular foundation when it launched, but because it said matte, I just wasn't quite intrigued by it. Um, I don't know if I've ever been like a super huge fan of all the YSL foundations. I'm not sure why but now I am, and I have to tell you, I'm completely in love with this All Hours Foundation. Um, this is gonna be a little bit more 
full coverage. I would say medium to full coverage, but it is what I'm wearing today. And I feel like it gives this this like extra flawlessness because it's got a touch more coverage. I usually shy away from full coverage foundations at my particular age because I just find that sometimes those um, look a little cakier and sort of age me. But this luminous matte foundation has not done that whatsoever. I swear I've just fallen in love with this. This is an all hours. It's so long lasting that it just, once you put it on, it is going to stay like this all day long. Um, it's not going to shift. It's not going to wear off. So that's another thing that's a bonus here. Does not feel like makeup. Um, I will say, yes, I do feel like because it is more full coverage, I feel a bit more glam. I'm fine that it's just a tiny bit more makeup-y than say the natural nude that's going to give me that truly natural seamless look. This is not going to look like, whoa, she's wearing tons of makeup, but it's just a slight more finished, I would say. I feel more polished, more finished. This is what I'm going to reach for on days that I want to look kind of a little bit more flawless or if I'm going to an event or going to a dinner or something like that I'm going to pull out the all hours you also can shear this out build it up it's truly an amazing foundation I can't believe that I've slept on this so long and I'm in the shade MC1 in this particular foundation right here so that is medium cool and level one. So that is one thing I would say is they have a lot of colors to choose from. Actually, in both of these foundations, there's going to be a shade that's going to work for you and your skin. If you are my skin twin, we are in the three zone in this one. So 3CR and then MC1 in the all hours. Okay, moving on to bronzer and blush. I have completely fallen in love with the Surat bronzer. I picked this up in the Soleil Do. I believe that's how you say it. I'm probably butchering it. <laughs> but this is a fantastic neutral. This bronzer is going to work year round for me. It is such a beautiful texture. So it's just very silky. If you have ever used any of the Surat Beauty products, you know what I'm talking about. Their powder products are just silky. They glide on the skin. They look natural. Their eyeshadows are outstanding. Their blushes are outstanding. And I absolutely love this new release from Surratt. Now everybody tells me I need to get the other shade as well. I've been told it's got a little bit more of that red undertone that I like, but I'm really happy with this shade. I feel like it's just sort of a year round bronzer. And since I don't really tan, I like this because it's going to give me a little bit of warmth on the skin, but it's not going to look like super fake or anything. So this bronzer, outstanding, cannot recommend it enough. Just been loving that. And also FYI, I love it on my eyes as well. So if you're wanting to do sort of that latte makeup look, this would be a good product to use. It's just a really nice neutral bronze tone. Okay, I have two blushes that I'm just gaga over. First, I'm going to talk about one that is not a new launch, but it is just a new shade to me. And this is one of the Valentino. This is the um, Eye to Cheek formula. I literally think these blushes are just so darn good. And I finally picked it up in Roman Sky, which is the perfect pinky peach color. I, I feel like this shade is going to be one of those that looks universally beautiful. To me, this is a little bit similar to like um, NARS Orgasm, but without that glitter in it. It's got some luminosity to it. It's just beautiful on the skin. This one is just so beautiful. The reason I love these blushes is it's 
almost like a gel powder formula. They're really creamy and dreamy. They last on the skin all day. You can wear this on your eyes as well. And honestly, this has been an eye look that I've been wearing all month long. Um, I would just use the bronzer in my crease and then I would put this on sort of in the crease and on my mobile lid. Just a really easy one and done eye look putting on my cheeks and I've just been loving it. So this one in Roman Sky, highly recommend it. Now the other blush that I just went gaga for was the new Dior, the Rosy Glow. I finally picked this up in Rose Wood and I am just completely in love with this blush. So I was already a fan of the Dior Rosy Glow, just the pink one. You guys have seen me use that many, many times on my channel. But this blush is perfection. I'm actually wearing that today. So I'm wearing my Surat bronzer. I'm wearing the Dior Rosewood blush. Highly, highly recommend this. It just looks so pretty on the skin. We'll put a little bit more of this on. And that's what I like about the formula of these Backstage Rosy Glow blushes is that they kind of come on sort of sheer and then you can build them up. Um, the one in the pink always looked like super fluorescent, but it just always gave me just a very healthy, like I worked out kind of glow. It was never too much. So you don't need to be scared about the color in the pan because they are going to kind of come on a bit sheer and then you can um, you know build it up to your heart's content but I am just thrilled with this rosewood it is outstanding and you also can wear this on your eyes I feel like we need to do a whole rosewood look because I've been wearing this on my eyes and my cheeks and then I have the rosewood lip oil as well as the lip maximizer so that can be just sort of an all-in-one look just gorgeous highly recommend okay now speaking of dior another product that was a surprise hit was the dior la balm and this is a multi-purpose product it is a great little hand cream that's the way i use this the most it can be a lip balm and it is just the best texture. That's what I would tell you is that it feels very luxe, but it's going to sink right into your hands. It doesn't feel greasy, but it feels very hydrating. And if you are somebody that carries around hand cream in your purse, I really love this because it's thin in nature so it doesn't take up too much space um, but it's easy to use and you know the packaging is cute as well but the product inside is truly great it just feels fantastic very moisturizing but not greasy so this was a surprise winner. You also can use it kind of on the ends of your hair and to get rid of flyaways if that's an issue for you. <laughs> that's another use that I've been using this for and it doesn't weigh my hair down either. So I don't think that's a proved way to use this, but I have been using it that way. Okay, let's talk about eyeshadow. There has been a lot of new launches. First, we're going to talk about the new Clay de Peau, and this is the one I picked up. This is the Sun Dried Driftwood. Such a pretty palette here, and essentially, I want to talk about the formula. It is a really fabulous formula. It's got a little primer in each of the quads here. Then you're going to have three of the other shades matte and satin and they are just really beautiful they are amazing for more mature eyes very forgiving and this is something that yes i want to pick up a few more of these the ones that i had wanted um kind of sold out kind of quickly <laughs> So I'm waiting for them to restock. I'll put the ones down. I think it was one 
um, maybe something ocean sunrise. Anyways, there was several that I was intrigued by, but I will tell you, yes, the formula is amazing. But what I will say is that, yes, I do love the new formula. I do love the new packaging. If I'm purchasing any others, I'm just going to be purchasing the refills. And that's one thing that you can do anyways. If you don't need the case, you can just buy the refills. Uh, the refills are still $75 and I believe the case is 35 so yes this is an investment I need to pose a luxury brand always been on the pricey side but yes I do really like the formula of these eyeshadows and they had so many pretty color stories so this is something that I will most likely pick up when I can get them on sale or have like a note at Nordstrom that's what I would use it on the other launch that I fell in love with was from YSL. I'm definitely having a YSL moment. I don't have like a ton of YSL makeup, but I did pick up one of the mini clutch eye palettes and I picked it up in the 100 story right here. Ah! But one thing I should mention that just happened is when I was come bringing this up to show you uh, my whole palette fell out of here so I'm gonna need to glue that down but I had a subscriber write me and tell me that this has been an issue and so far it hadn't happened to me but now it did here on camera <laughs> So, so that would be one thing I would mention is that it does seem like there might be a little bit of an issue. Uh, maybe it's just exclusive to the 100 palette, but she had mentioned that um, she was having an issue with the product falling out and that just happened to me too. So you guys, this is just a beautiful neutral eye palette right up my alley. But since I had not used a lot of YSL eyeshadows before, I was pleasantly surprised with the formula. They glide on like a dream. They created a really soft, beautiful eye look. And again, the 100 is just like my perfect neutral. And I know that one tends to be the one that's sold out all over the place. If you can get your hands on that eye palette, I would say yes. And you love a good neutral eye palette you will really enjoy Okay, that. as many of you know, I have gone completely gaga for the Barbie movie, everything about it. I just love the movie, but I also grew up spending hours playing with Barbies, my best friends, the whole neighborhood, we would get together. I'm aging myself here, but that was how we entertained ourselves. And I have so many fond memories. It was really a creative outlet for me and my friends. But one of the eye palettes I picked up this past month was from Dior. And this is Rose de Soir. And honestly, I feel like this is the perfect Barbie eye quint. It creates such a soft, pretty wash of pink and taupes on the eye. And I've just been loving this one. This is what I am wearing today on my eyes. It's just a really pretty soft eye palette. And it's also not too pink. I don't like to wear a ton of pink on my eyes, but I find this to be sort of the perfect one for myself where it's just a little soft and muted and it just creates such a pretty look. Definitely a great Barbie eye quint. Now sticking with the Barbie theme for a minute, I've got a few favorite lippies that I feel like are just Barbie appropriate. Very soft pink shades. The first one is from Dior. This is a Dior Addict uh, Shine Lipstick. This one is in Romance and this one's going to be a little bit more of a perfect nude pink and I just love this shade so much. Um, literally a go-to all month long. It is perfection on the lips. I'll go ahead put this on here. I really, really love this one. This one is in Romance. Such a good everyday lipstick. And I was able to get my hands on the YSL 
Volupte. Day. This one is in shade 44 that is always sold out, but it is the perfect Barbie shade. This is going to be your nude pink color as well. I just love it. Um, it is often out of stock for a reason. It's, it is just a beautiful sheer pink color on the lips. So gorgeous. We'll just put a little bit of this on top. We're going to layer it all on. That's one other thing I would say about number 44 is that it's going to look beautiful on any of your lipsticks. So say you are wearing more of a matte lipstick, but you want to add a little bit of moisture to your lips. Um, this is going to glide on, give you a little gloss on there, but it just looks great on its own on a, as a topper. I just love this one. And, and of course, the case is very Barbie appropriate but just gorgeous on its own love 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 it and then we have the uh, lawless this is forget the filler gloss I'm completely in love with these glosses and this one is in juicy watermelon I may have included this last month in my favorites as well because I love it so much I don't know if you can see I mean I have used a lot of this gloss and that to me is a true Barbie pink this feels so amazing on the lips it's like a treatment it is going to plump them up it is just so good I really want to pick up like all of these glosses because I love them that much and that is saying a lot because I'm a Dior Lip Maximizer girl, and these might be nudging that out a bit. That's how good the Lawless Forget the Filler lip glosses are. And this one is in Juicy Watermelon. Okay, I slicked this on because I actually thought it went a little better with my little jacket. And this is one of my favorites. I'll speak about this in a moment once we get to fashion, but I have found the perfect Barbie perfume. I'm so excited to share this with you. Now, I was on the hunt for a special birthday scent. I turned 55, kind of a big one, and I wanted something special and feminine and pretty and pink, and she was like, you have got to get this gritty tutu. So I was so excited to get this perfume from Lucky Scent here. And let me open this up. This is literally like Barbie perfection here. It comes in its beautiful lined little coffin box here. And then check out this gorgeous bottle here. Truly stunning. And I'm going to go ahead and put some of this on because it is the perfect Barbie scent for me today. We're doing a little pretty in pink action. Oh my gosh. So this was love at first sniff. KG, I don't actually know your true name, but you go by KG. You never steer me the wrong way, but you were like, this is the perfect special fruity floral uber feminine fragrance. That's what I was looking for. I wanted something that Barbie would wear that I would feel like pretty and a million bucks in and maybe even a little young. Even though I was turning 55, this fragrance is pure delight to wear. You are definitely going to smell so pretty. You are going to feel pretty. I mean, this is the perfect quintessential Barbie perfume. This fragrance is actually an ode to ballerinas, thus the name Tutu. It's all about how they're dedicated to their practice, their beautiful strength and balance. Like that's one of the most amazing things about ballerinas is they are super strong, but they also have that grace that they exude. This one to me definitely has this effervescent champagne touch so you are going to 
get that sort of sparkly champagne touch right when you spray this out. Immediately it gave me a smile. It immediately felt so special and pretty. Almost a little frivolous but in a good way. It was exactly what I was looking for. Something that felt special that maybe was a teeny bit more frivolous and fun because I'm sort of on this YOLO. I've got to live life while I can now. This one definitely feels that way. And let me briefly give you the notes. This one has grapefruit, black currant, coconut, pink champagne. You definitely are going to feel this champagne touch in here. You're going to smell it. Um, it's almost as if I've taken a little sip of champagne and I've gotten a little um, punch drunk right off the bat. That's how it makes you feel. A little bubbly, maybe a little giggly. Then it has jasmine, rose, heliotrope, it has slight powderiness in here, very delicate, I would say, raspberry, vanilla, amber, and musk. And with that musk, there is like a very nice clean note in here as well, um, almost like a shampoo touch to it. I personally love that slight shampoo clean note in perfume. That's something that I enjoy. I wouldn't say that it is super strong, um, but I would say it does give you that little touch of a luxe shampoo smell. It is just such a joy to wear. This is exactly what I was looking for. I've been on the hunt for the past couple months. I wanted something that was going to be special, but I had been gravitating towards some sort of fruity florals, um, but something that wasn't going to nauseate me or be too heady. I wanted something that was also fun, slightly frivolous, and again, uber feminine. I'm totally into this pink Barbie woman hear me roar moment and this is exactly that in a perfume. I highly recommend it if you are a fellow Barbie lover or you are wanting something feminine, something that's just going to make you so happy and feel so pretty, then I highly recommend this to do. And I was able to score a code for you. I was so excited um, from Lucky Scent. And this is Abby Bliss 10. I will leave that in the description box. Whenever I can score a discount for you guys, it will always be down in the description box. But highly recommend this. Wanted to give a little shout out to KG. You were right. This is the perfect special scent for a big birthday. Definitely recommend this one for any special occasion or if you're feeling that Barbie vibe and you want to join me, definitely pick up Tutu. Next I have a his and her recommendation and since it was my birthday my husband and I recently did a little shopping. I had a couple gift cards to use and I was telling him how much he would love Creed Aventus. This is a classic fragrance. It is a bestseller for a reason. I love it on him. I like to wear this myself. So we were at the Creed counter and he had sprayed this on and was like, uh-oh, this is making all my other colognes pale in comparison. And he just really fell in love with this. I had said, I always thought you would really like this. He loves sort of those classic fresh colognes and literally this is one of the best. It is so freaking dumb expensive but it truly is so good. So at first we were just going to get one of the bigger bottles of this and share but then the Creed woman had sprayed on Adventus for her on me and as I had mentioned a few videos back I used to be a kind of Adventist for her hater or it just wasn't for me. But then my friend Jenny, who also never liked Adventist or Adventist for her, had told me to go get my sample out that she just couldn't seem to get enough of it. So I had been playing around with my sample of the Adventist for her and just sort of 
fell in love with this fragrance. And one of my um, beefs with the fragrance before was that I felt like it was just a little bit masculine. Like if I was going to get this, I might as well just go ahead and wear the men's cologne. But the dry down of Adventus for her is just perfection. So the classic Adventus, it literally is just so fresh and vigorating. Um, it smells amazing. It literally is one where I'm like, oh my gosh, just let me bathe in this. And this one opens with bergamot, black currant leaves, apple and pineapple. I love the little touch of pineapple in the opening here. Then it's got pink berries, birch, patchouli, jasmine. The patchouli in here is not too earthy. I would say it's a very fresh, clean patchouli. Then it's got musk, oak moss, ambergris, and vanilla. It is just the best cologne. It's very addictive. So when I smell it on others, I literally want to go and spray this on myself. That's what I'm saying. I wear this as well. Just the original classic Adventus. Um, I feel like it is like perfectly unisex. There's a touch of that fruity element in there from pineapple. There's a touch of vanilla. It definitely has that cologne feel. It is just so, so good and very addictive. My husband and I laugh because we love the opening of this and this will sort of dry down. You can still smell it, but we wish that the opening stayed for a bit longer, like throughout the fragrance, because it's just so amazing. Um, so he just fell in love with this. So then he was like, why don't we do a little his and her of Adventus? We were having so much fun with the Creed representatives at the counter because I wasn't sure if this was me or not. I always felt like it opened just slightly masculine, but on the dry down, there is this creamy peach and elangy lang. So in the Adventus for her, the notes are going to be Egyptian green apple, pink berries, Indonesian patchouli, and Italian bergamot. Then in the middle, you're going to have Bulgarian and Turkish roses, light little floral hit there, Indian sandalwood, styrix, and musk. And then in the base, you're going to have sweet peach, cassis, lilac, amber, and elang elang. So in this, there's no pineapple. Like this one has the pineapple note that I absolutely love. And this one, it is just bit more feminine. It does open up a bit sporty. That's maybe what I would say. I think that I had just liked other creeds that I wanted to purchase before I got this one, but I felt like it was just slightly sporty, like a little bit maybe masculine, but I have just been all about it right now, especially it's been very warm and hot. And this is the perfect weather for Adventus for her. It's going to cut through the heat. It's going to make you feel fresh, and, but the dry down is going to be slightly more feminine, very classy to me. They've got that classic uh, Creed DNA, but that was just such a fun little birthday gift to do a little his and her Adventus with my husband. I laughed, I was like, do you know what you're getting into? Do you have any idea how expensive these are? But he was just all about it, having fun in the moment. And he was like, this is our little birthday gifts to ourselves. So we got a little his and her Adventus for our birthdays. And that was just sort of a fun little experience for both of them. Okay, moving on to some fashion finds. Again, I've been all about Barbie. And I picked up this cute little J. Crew. This is the Odette sweater jacket. I own this in white. I just love the style. It's super soft. It's lightweight. You can wear this buttoned up like this. I generally wear it open. I have a little tank underneath, but I just love this color screams Barbie, but it's just a fun little piece. I own this in white and I've worn it all summer long. And then I saw this in the Barbie pink and I was like, oops, I've got to get it. I love this color. It is bright. It is fun. And this is just sort of my daily uniform, wearing some of my favorite jeans, a tank, and then I will throw on this little J. Crew Odette sweater. And what and one other cute 
dress that I picked up. This is in this beautiful fuchsia color here. This is this button front tiered cover up dress in cotton. And it will tell you it is pretty sheer, but it is the perfect sort of run errands kind of dress. It is just absolutely adorable. It can be used as your swim cover up, but also just a great little dress to kind of run your errands. You can wear it with sneakers, you can wear it with sandals, and, and it is just such a great color. I'll post up a picture of me trying this on, but I really thought this was a really cute piece. We're going to be visiting friends in Florida, so I was kind of looking for a few items that I can wear in the heat and humidity, and this just seemed like a perfect little pickup at J. Crew. Now, a couple highlights from the Nordstrom sale that I picked up. They may not be on sale anymore, but I know that they still sell them. So I always love to pick up jeans at the Nordstrom sale, and I picked up two that I absolutely love. One of them is the Paige Lena High Waist Ankle Wide Leg Jeans. And for somebody that is not the tallest, I'm 5'3", I absolutely love these jeans. They're going to fit me not as a crop, but I can get away with them as regular jeans. They've got that chic silhouette with a little bit more of a wide leg, but they are not too wide leg and they're also not too long. So those have been just a real winner for me. I've been just loving them. They're real soft denim, almost like a trouser denim, and they're just so comfortable, and I just find that they work really well with my little Odette sweaters as well, just because they're a little bit higher waisted, and then the jacket's a bit cropped, um, and so it really works. I feel like it almost elongates me a little bit and makes me appear tall Color. always love that but I highly recommend those jeans whether they're on sale or not because they are just fantastic the other pair of jeans that I have just been living in these are like the perfect summer jeans with a white t-shirt these are the AG jeans they are the ex-boyfriend ripped jeans so these are a little bit distressed here and this is in the 17 years long beach wash um you guys these are so freaking comfortable they are just like as if you have lived in these jeans for years i just think they look so cute with just like a little v-neck white tee and your sandals i have just been loving these jeans they're a little bit distressed but they are so comfortable Again, these ones feel like you've owned them for a very long time. They sort of like meld to your body and they're just so cute. So these AG jeans, even if they're not on sale, I would totally recommend them. Absolutely love them. Another find that I got at the Nordstrom sale was these Rag and Bone. This is the Dylan Wide Leg Pant and this is not doing justice just showing you these online because it was actually the fabric that is so amazing for these pants. They look great on, but honestly, I'm hoping you can kind of see the fabric is what sold me on these pants. They are just really awesome. They are a little bit wide-legged as well. Again, I am not super tall, but these totally work for me. And I did have to size down in this particular pant. So that's what I would say is they run a little bit big. I would size down one from your regular, but the back is just super cute. And these, I feel like I can wear casual but feel just a little bit more dressed up but I can also wear them dressier with like a silk blouse and I just think these are so perfect and again I am going to be going to Florida and I thought that these would be great as well and just sort of a great staple piece.
Then my son Emmett actually got me a gift card to Jenny Kane. You guys know I'm a big Jenny Kane fan. And then I also had a 20% off coupon because it was my birthday. And so I picked up this amazing sweater. I absolutely love it. This is the Chase Mock Cardigan. And it's in this lovely cotton fabric. It is perfect for right now, but also, um, you know, year round. I just love their cotton. It's just really nice. They're known for their cashmere. I have many of their cashmere sweaters, but honestly, their cotton reigns supreme. And this is just a really cute sweater here. It's slightly more cropped. Um, again, looks cute with your high-waisted jeans, and you can button it all the way up to the top if you want. i am kind of been wearing it open with a tank underneath. This is like the perfect sweater to take with you. Um, say it's hot outside, but then you go into a restaurant and you get cold, like myself. <laughs> Um, I will always tag along this sweater and it's just like the perfect weight. It looks really cute over little sundresses too. It's just like a little topper piece. So I could not be more thrilled with this piece. I love the buttons. I love everything about it. The most comfiest luxury cotton sweater. So cute. Now I also picked up these Jenny Kane sandals here. These are like a little bit more elevated Birkenstocks. I feel like I'm at that age where I really need comfortable shoes, but these are actually a little bit chic on. They're definitely a take on a Birkenstock, and I have to tell you, these are so comfortable. I was in LA dropping my daughter off um, for, she goes to college there, but she was, I helped her move into her off-campus housing, another highlight, having fun in LA, and we actually went over to the Jenny Kane store, and I tried these on, and I was like, oh my gosh, these are so comfortable on the feet. These are like the kind of sandals where you slip them on. They like fit your feet right off the bat. Um, they were just so comfortable that I was like, okay, I'm going to have to pick these up. And I really like them. They are really cute with jeans and shorts and sundresses. Just kind of a, a chic little sandal here from Jenny Kane. And then one sneaker that I picked up at the anniversary sale was the P448 sneakers. Oh, you guys, I'm so glad that that I decided to get these and keep them. Number one, they are cute. They have like a little tweed tongue. Not sure if you can see that, but has sort of like a Chanel-esque little tweed on the tongue of the sneaker. These are really well made, but these are so comfortable. Like I have not stopped wearing these. They are so comfortable. I do own some Golden Goose and I have to say these are more comfortable than my particular Golden Goose pair. And they're just such a good classic sneaker. So comfortable. Again, you can wear this with your jeans, your shorts, pants, sundresses, like literally these are just a great find and I'm so glad that I picked these up. If you're looking for a cute kind of chic comfy sneaker, definitely check out the P448 brand. I wasn't really intrigued by them before, but I slipped my foot into them and then I was like, uh, I shouldn't have done that because then I wanted to purchase them. <laughs> So definitely love these. And then of course, we're going to have to end on a Barbie note. I did have to pick up some cute pink Birkenstocks after I saw the movie. I already wore Birkenstocks and I had already had my eye on this old rose color, but I ended up going and getting a new fresh pair of the Arizona style in this old rose color. These are the soft bed Birkenstocks. They're super comfortable. Again, I had to start wearing these when I had plantar fasciitis and my doctor said, you know what, you should go get some Birkenstocks. And I was like, do I have to? No. <laughs> 
<laughs> um, and now I'm a total believer. So now I'm excited because Birkenstocks are now kind of in style and these are just so cute. So had to go get a pair of pink RB Burks. Love these. And on that note, those are all of my favorites. Again, big month, lots of sales, birthday, all that kind of stuff. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I will be back with another one soon.